Today, my girlfriend asked me if she was well built. So I told her, I said, girl, you look like a Coke bottle. And all of a sudden she got like really, 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 really mad. And for some reason she had her in her head that I was talking about one of those two liter bottles, the big ones. Said, no, 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 it's an old expression. It's an old expression from the past when Coke bottles were just those sinewy, nice shaped ones. I thought that was very funny. Life in quarantine. Hey, YouTubers. Coupled with this video is a video about the five things I think everyone should ignore when they buy a new camera. But today I wanted to talk to you about the five things I think you must pay attention to when buying a new camera. They should be on your priority list when you walk into that camera store and you say, I want to get a new camera. So without further ado, let's get into it. I think that whatever camera model you wanna buy, be it Fuji, Sony, Canon, Nikon, whatever, one of the most important things is that the camera lenses offered for that camera model will be good, be it different size sensor or anything. What's most important is that the quality of the lenses that are offered are good. No matter how good your camera sensor, processor, features are on the camera, if you put a crappy lens on the front of that camera body, you're gonna take just a fantastic picture of crap. Therefore, the big bottleneck for most photography is the lens. If you have a great lens, you will have a great photo. How does the camera feel in your hand? When you pick it up and you start using it, how does it feel to you? Is it intuitive? Is it not intuitive? Do you just not like it? What's happening? I personally have picked up Sony's and I don't like the way they feel in my hand, but I do know that there are a whole bunch of people out there that really love the way Sony's feel. So that camera is good for them. How you view how your photographic process should be, which buttons you should be pressing, where they are, where they're placed, how it feels to take off the lens, how the lens feels when you move and focus are super, super important. I'm not saying get a camera with tons of features. I'm just saying, look at your reality, what you wanna do with your camera, and make sure that the camera you get has the features necessary to later upgrade to be able to do that workflow. Guys, you just gotta feel excited when you pick the camera up. When you take the camera in your hand, you gotta feel, hey, this is gonna be fun. Why do I think that's so important? I'll give you, this is a musical example, but a long time ago, I had bought a guitar and I wanted to learn how to play guitar. And it was a cheap guitar, it cost like 110 bucks. Still remember the brand, Harmony. I bought that guitar and you know what? I didn't learn very quick. And one day when budget permitted, I decided to buy myself a Taylor, a really, nice guitar. I bought that guitar and I found myself playing on it all the time and learning how to play just because the sound was great. It felt good in my hand. The touch of my fingers didn't get, didn't get chafed. So I think the same thing happens with a camera. You have to feel that magic and that excitement. And I think it's important. I really do think it is important. If you have and you've checked all the other ideas like great optics, ergonomics, expandability, but you don't have a camera that gets you excited when you pick it up, well, the whole process ends. So this is more an organic type of factor, but I think it is important. How does the brand approach how they're gonna make products that fit within your workflow? I personally have gone towards the Fuji system. Here's a couple of their philosophies. They like to have cameras that are very dial based and I really do like that personally. What I also like about the Fuji system is that they're ready to upgrade 
camera features a lot through their firmware, and I like that. I find that's great support to their clients. Once you make the decision to buy a camera, you know you can have it for a little while because they like to upgrade their firmware. So those are two things that to me have been very important in my purchase of the Fuji system. And I know a couple of Sony people that really love their cameras. They love it for a lot of reasons. They love the fact that there's a lot of specs, a lot of high performance specs that'll make people go, wow, high burst rates and stuff like that. So that is one basic philosophy. So those are the five ways I believe that you should be looking at a new camera that you're about to buy. And to me, they're the only five. Once you've gone through those and you check the list and say, oh, this brand checks for me, this brand checks for me, that is all you need. The rest is up to you to start going out there and shooting, learning, making mistakes, learning from your mistakes and correcting and doing what you have to do. Thank you very much for watching. If you think that there is something else on this list I should have added, please, Make a comment below. You guys like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.